Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing fine and are taking care of yourselves. My name is Kanika Tandon and I am here with the video of class 4th English 1st. In our today's video we are going to do the chapter 26 that is punctuation marks and let's recall second. Starting our today's video with uh, chapter number 20 that is punctuation. So before we start, let me tell you how important punctuation is. Whenever we are writing anything in English language, we always make sure that our sentence or our paragraph or anything that we are writing is properly punctuate, punctuated. It divides the sentences and also makes us, makes us uh, understand the meaning of the sentence clearer. Alright, there are seven types of punctuation marks that you have to remember. First is full stop. Full stop is used when when we have to end the sentence. All right. Bo one more thing that we have to uh, make sure that we remember that whenever we are starting another sentence after the full stop, first alphabet of the uh, first word in the first sentence is always capital. Okay. So full stop is a sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. We use full stop to end all the assertive or imperative sentences such as this is my photograph and this is open the window. Next is comma. When is comma used? Comma is used with the things that we are using. If we are using many things in the sentence, we use comma to divide them. For example, we purchased spices, bread, butter fruit and vegetables so there are many things that we have brought bought so we have put a comma between them so that we are it is easy for us to differentiate next is or to separate each pair of words joined by end men and women woman comma young and old comma rich and poor must visit the exhibitions similarly to se separate a direct quotation from the rest of the sentence so direct quotation is se uh, uh, di um, separated by with the help of comma to mark off words used in the addressing people as how are you comma sarita all right coming on to the next page next is semicolon so semicolon is used to present uh, to represent a longer pause it is used after she is a virtuous kind hearted lady we all respected her so if they in this we have used a long pause next is colon colon is used to introduce a quotation whenever we are starting a quotation we have we use semicolon before it before enumeration example the main kinds of sentences in the, in in english are assertive interrogative imperative and exclamatory okay so in this we are explaining something so we have used semicolons next is question mark you already know what a question mark is whenever we are we use the question uh, to ask the question we put question mark exclamation marks, mark 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 is to show uh, in uh, to show the emotions whenever in any sentence we are using our emotions we use exclamation mark like hurra oh alas interjection you have already uh, learned and next is apostrophe apostrophe i also told you that apostrophe is used whenever we are showing the possession all right the, to show possession in other words to form the plural of the letters and figures okay and next is uh, to show that a letter is missing or some letters are missing as don't do not becomes don't cannot becomes can't let us become let's it is become it's all right now coming on to the next page with the from uh, in the exercise of the questions first is Put appropriate marks of punctuation at the end of the following sentences. So, first is these garments are mine, which is an uh, assertive sentence. Put full stop. What can I do for you? Question mark. Did he come here yesterday? Question mark. Do not make noise. Full stop. There is a book on the desk. Full stop. Next is read the following sentences by putting, rewrite the following sentences by putting commas at appropriate place. So, she wrote the letter neatly comma correctly comma speedily and legibly india comma china comma pakistan comma bhutan and nepal participated in the conference we visited agra comma mathura comma Allahabad and lucknow my hobbies include reading comma traveling comma singing and internet surfing 
यू मस्ट इंक्लूड मिल्क कॉमा योगर्ट कॉमा चीज एंड बटर इन योर डाइट नेक्स्ट इज री राइट द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेज बाई पुटिंग सेमी कॉलन और कॉलन एट द अप्रोप्रिएट प्लेसेज फर्स्ट इज थॉमस जेफरसन सेज सेमी कॉलन आई लाइक द ड्रीम्स ऑफ अ फ्यूचर बेटर देन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द पास इट इज ऑलरेडी अ कोटेशन और राइट सो वील पुट अ सेमी कॉलन शी वॉज वर्चुअस काइंड हार्टेड लेडी लॉन्ग पॉज दैट मीन्स सेमी कॉलन वी ऑल रिस्पेक्ट हर दीज सब्जेक्ट्स दिस ईयर आर फॉलोइंग इंग्लिश मैथ्स कॉमर्स एंड स्टडीज सो आफ्टर इंग्लिश एंड मैथ्स यू हैव टू पुट सेमी कॉलन एडिसन सेज सिंस इट इज अ कोटेशन वील यूज सेमी कॉलन सॉरी ओनली कॉलन कलर स्पीक ऑन लैंग्वेज नेपोलियन हिल सेज सेमी कॉल ये कॉलन इफ यू कैन नॉट डू ग्रेट थिंग्स डू स्मॉल थिंग्स इन अ ग्रेट वे ऑल राइट नाउ नेक्स्ट इज कैन यू री राइट द पंक्चुएट एंड पंक्चुएट द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेज बिलो सो वी हैव टू री राइट एंड पंक्चुएट सो कैन यू सी द थ्री टूल्स ऑन हर बेल्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज अ सेंटेंस सो फर्स्ट एल्फाबेट विल बी कैपिटल सो यू हैव टू राइट कैपिटल सी and at then at the end question mark because it is a question what is this she cried so uh, inverted comma starting what is this question mark inverted comma and she cried full stop she is using a spade uh, trowel and magnifying glass so she is using spade comma trowel and magnifying glass what do you think she is looking at so w is capital of what what do you think question oh full uh, comma she is looking at question mark she is wearing a hat boots and gloves for protection so she uh, the s in she will be capital so she is wearing a hat comma boots and gloves for protection full stop coming on to the next page first is you use me to separate a series of words in the sentence so it is this is not Uh, this is not apostrophe okay this is actually comma c o double m wait comma next is you use okay next is you use me you use me at the end of the question it is it is question mark understood next it you use me at the end of the assertive or imperative sentence full stop and next last is you use me after interjection so i am an exclamation mark okay let us come on to let's recall one let's recall two first exercise is point out the verbs and state whether they are transitive or intransitive also write the objects of the transitive verbs in the given lines so first is my sister slept soundly it is an intransitive uh, sentence so the, there is no object so you have to write intransitive the bus stopped at a hotel intransitive next is she writes short, short stories it is transitive okay i don't know why it, it is not written it is transitive that is why the object is uh, stories okay next is he sings very well intransitive next is i am learning spanish intransitive and object is spanish next is underline the correct verbs in the black brackets in the following sentences so neither air nor water was pure there the jury was appointed yesterday every man and woman has a right to vote the scientist and the poet were honored with awards anil and sunil are friends next is fill in the blanks with the correct tenses of the verb given in the bracket so they ate fast food yesterday i shall watch television tonight the train will have left by the time they reach the station he went to kanpur last month the children will have learned their lessons by evening next is pick out the adverbs in the following sentences and write their kinds first is the artist performed brilliantly and brilliantly adverb of manner he walked smartly up to the stairs 
smartly adverb adverb of manner go to school regularly adverb uh, regularly adverb of frequency he shall be leaving shortly shortly adverb of time i went abroad last year abroad adverb of place coming on to the next page pick out the preposition in the following so i waited till 12 o'clock till they have they were among the audience among he is afraid of snakes of agra is famous for taj mahal for i am dedicated to my task too next is put the right verb on the right book so these are the examples uh, i mean sorry these are the words that you have to put uh, in different columns so you can read and write it on your own and if you don't understand you can take hint from the video and uh, uh, with this the your syllabus is over and i hope that you all have understood and i also hope that you are studying really well i'll see you all in my next video with the revision of some chapters till then take care thank you